Hello, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> we will be making a coffee bun with a butter filling. Uh, I've been making this for several times, but uh, due to public demand, my friends are asking to do it again. So now we are going to do it. So stay with me there. Watch me. Watch how I do it. It's very delicious, you know. It's a coffee bun. Of course, uh, there's a coffee in it. This is this bread or this bun composed of three layers. We have the dough, that the coffee toppings, and we will put uh, butter in as the filling. So it composed of three layers. Okay, so I hope you will stay with me. We will start now. I have here 120 grams to 150 grams. I make it more, but do not use it all. So we will leave some because sometimes the flour doesn't need uh, much liquid. Depends on the flour. Then two grams of fish, two grams, and twenty grams of sugar. We will mix it. Remember, we are using instant uh, instant yeast, so we don't need to boom it. Just like that, mix. Then we are going to add a, one gram of sea salt. Sea salt. Then I have here half of an egg. Because the other half, we are going to use it for our topping. So the half, I use it here. After that, we will add the 200 grams of bread flour. So you see, I did not use all the 150 grams. That's why, you, as you can see, if you need more liquid, you can still have. So, that's enough now. You always have to give allowance for your liquid because some flour need more. Like now, I was not able to finish all the 150 grams. 130. Then we are going to knead this by hand.
Now we are going to add the 20 grams of softened unsalted butter.
Okay. So we are going to rest. We will rest it until it doubles in size. So since it's uh, winter, very cool. I'm going to open the oven for a short time and then close it. And then I will for the proofing of this. Okay, so I keep in the oven, let's say for one hour. We will just check. Now we are going to make the coffee fillings. I have here 30 grams of the butter. 30 grams of an unsalted butter. We are going to add 20 grams of sugar. And we will mask. After that, we will add the 20 grams of beaten egg. We use the other half in our dough. So the 20 grams, we'll use it here. After that, I have here one teaspoon of coffee granules. Coffee. And we are going to add one teaspoon of hot water. Then we will add it here. Just remember avoid adding too much coffee because the taste will become bitter. Okay. And the last, our 35 grams of cake flour.
So you see now, this is the consistency. Do not make it too watery because uh, when we put it in the on top of the dough, it will easily flow down. So this is the correct consistency. Now we are going to put it in a piping bag. So like that we will set aside this is good for only six buns if you want more you can double our recipe okay so we will wait for the we'll use this later on okay set it aside put it there for our filling I already prepared six six pieces of butter and salt or you can use salted butter we are going to use this for our filling hello our dough has double in size so we are going to work on it very soft we're going to cut it but first I will leave a part of it I will use this to cover the the butter you will see later why I do that. This is his Then we're going to form balls.
It's a bit big. So six pieces. This one I'm going to cut it into six. Six pieces also. We're going to use this to cover our butter. Because if not, it will leak out. ganito lang this one flatten it and we cover the butter yan tapos ganyan so that when it melt the matter melt it will not come out from this uh, bread okay like that pwede naman hindi nyo balutin kaso pag natunaw na yung butter lalabas it will come out again Balot. Yeah. Then flatten this. Tapos ilak nyo na. Okay. Flatten. Ito nyo. Tapos ganito rin. Flatten. Diba? Dito nyo pinagdugto. Ito yung pang ilalim. Ganyan. That's my technique. Pwede naman hindi nyo ibalot. You can, if you don't want to wrap it with this, with the small dough, you can, but the tendency is the, when the butter melts, it comes out from, comes out in, it comes out from the bread. Sayang. Ayan. Again, very easy. Okay. 
Dati hindi ko binabalot, kaya lang lumabas yung butter. Tapos itaob niyo. Balot nyo. Then, itaog. The last one. You wrap the butter. Then the opening, you put it upside down. Downward, I mean. The opening should be down. Edwan, di ko alam. Basta yung pinag-anuhan mo. Man ilalim. Ayan na. There. Then we will rest it again before we will put the coffee toppings. We rest it. This is our topping, the coffee topping we made, you remember. I'm now preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. And this one, uh, we are going to bake it for 15 to 17 minutes. We'll just check, okay? So this is how we make the toppings. Okay, <laughs> and then into the oven, you see. Here is our <laughs> coffee buns, you see. It smells coffee. Mm, still hot. 
still hot. So, you see how I did it? It's with the butter, fill, butter filling with the coffee toppings. That's all for today. So, hope you will be there by my next video. This is our coffee bun recipe. If you want to learn how to make it, just follow my uh, oh, my recipe. They are written in the description box below. You can also call this Papa Roti or Roti Boy. <laughs> Coffee bun in English. Papa Roti or Roti Boy. It's a Mexican coffee bun. I don't know how they, why they called it a Mexican coffee bun. So as I told you before, the first time I came to Taiwan, I fell in love with this kind of bread. Every morning I buy, I bought this in the 7-Eleven. And there is another kind of bread which I love to buy. So... I keep in mind that some days I will learn how to make it and now it happened okay so my recipe for this is in my description box thank you for watching please don't forget to support my channel at the Loris channel and you will learn many more about this bread here in Taiwan. They are very delicious, you know. I love them. So, thank you. God bless. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye.